Start my truck, let's all jump in Here we go together Nice cool breeze and big palm trees I tell you life don't get no better Talking about hair now Welcome viewers and thank you for joining us for another episode of Talk the Talk with me, Desh. Today we are going to talk about the Renault Quid in our first segment called Let's Talk Car of the Week with Nita Stadler. And as usual, we have Ashley Ross with our Talk Tip of the Week. Following this in my favorite segment, our talk of the town for this week is Masesi Kutamela, another leading woman in motoring. She is a new vehicle sales manager at Renault Bryanston. So let's get straight into it with Nita Stadler and our French car of the week. Talking about hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, I go, I go, I go, I go, I go, I go, Hi, Nita. Hi, Dee. So, viewers, Renault has always been one of my most supportive brands, especially from dealer and retail perspective. So, when I found out that the Quid is one of our top sellers from the Woman Talk website, I went and test drove the newest Renault Quid. And knowing that it's a favorite with South African road users, I was excited to see why this little budget car is such a game changer. It's ridiculously affordable, and I think that it has plenty of fine qualities. But Nita, as usual, is here to tell you more about the Renault Quid. Nita. So you recently said that you feel that the Renault Quid has captured the hearts of many um, in South Africa with its comfort, uh, driver, drivability. Please tell us more about it. Yes, Dee. That is so true. This little five-seater is suited for a small to medium-sized family. But I think it's a vehicle ideal for a student or even for a retiree who wants a no-fuss vehicle with compact dimensions and a an affordable price tag. Okay, so Nita, please tell us a bit more about its exterior features. D, the Quid is of French descent, so it's practically oozing mm. of charm and charisma. Mm. It's a typical small car physique with short overhangs and an impressive ground clearance of 180 millimeters for a strengthened stance. Mm. Overall, it, it all but screams and exudes typical French appeal which is sure to turn heads when you're cruising around town. Mm. It's spacious for a compact car. 300 litres can stretch up to 1,115 litres in the cargo area when the rear seats are folded. But D, mm. I think what I actually like a lot and what stood out for me is the dual tone dashboard and chrome contour digital instrument cluster. Mm. Leather inserts on the steering wheel are black, grey and champion red and provide the upholstery with a chic finish to the cabin. D, as we discussed earlier, the visibility is decent due to the high position in which I sat and the sizable windows. Yes, Nita, and overall the cabin certainly does have practicality, but I must admit that my favorite aspect of the interior is how Renault has designed and laid it out to feel spacious, despite its true dimensions. Um, Nita, please tell us more about the features, which is always your favorite topic. Okay. The 7-inch multimedia touchscreen infotainment system is equipped with Bluetooth, audio streaming, hands-free calls, voice control, navigation with South, Africa, South African maps, Apple CarPlay and a USB port. Safety features include all the crucial elements such as the driver's airbag, front and rear seat belts, a high-mounted brake light and an in engine immobilizer. Comfort and convenient features that are stock fitted include electric power steering, front power windows, a heater and air conditioning. Okay, and so for the drive, ladies, this one liter engine produces 50 kilowatts of power and 91 meter, uh, newton meters of torque, which is perfect if you want to comfortably flow into city traffic. So the bonus of this little engine is that it has a ridiculously low fuel consumption of 4.7 liters per 100 kilometers, which will surely save you some money, especially if you're a student 
or just beginning your journey in the working world. Ladies, I was actually impressed with this drive because it takes turns really easily and although I could feel the potholes here and there, the overall ride was on par for the segment. So due to the fact that I test drove the quid from a dealership and not from the OEM, I unfortunately did not spend an entire week with the car. So I hope that this review was sufficient for you to make your choice on purchasing a Renault Quid. Thank you, Nita. Thank you, Dee. Okay, and up next, we have Ashley Ross for our talk tip of the week. Wind up, go down, wind up, go down. Twist your body back, we go, we go, we go left, left, we go right, right. Turn it around and wind up, go down again. Hi, Ash. Hi, Dee. Okay, so Ash, what do we do and how do we react in a vehicle accident? Because according to statistics, South Africa has one of the highest accident rates in the world. Um, truly, Ash, every time a loved one gets gets behind the wheel we pray that they arrive safely at their des destination unharmed accidents happen daily and we strongly advise our viewers to be vigilant and focused whenever they do get behind the wheel it is important to abide by the rules of the road so that you may prevent a vehicle accident yourself so ash tell us what is the the first thing our viewers should do fingers crossed um, that they don't find themselves in a vehicle accident and please help us navigate our viewers through this very uncomfortable topic today. Yes Dee, I would say the best thing to do when you have been involved in a vehicle accident is to remain calm. It yeah. sounds easier said than done but the moment you start to panic or stress you start thinking irrationally and it won't solve anything. Yes absolutely. So Ash what do you advise um, are the steps that our viewers should take following uh, of uh, you know following after a traumatic accident so i think while well, first things first inspect yourself and other passengers for any injury mm -hmm. if you're all right climb out of your vehicle to help assist the other person involved in the accident mm -hmm. If you or anyone with you are injured, you should stay where you are. Mm. Call emergency services like the police and ambulance so that they can assist at the scene. Still have everyone involved looked over by a medical professional. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't have any physical damages like cuts and bruises doesn't mean that you don't have any internal injuries or whiplash. Under no circumstances should you or the other driver try to move your vehicle from the accident scene at all. Mm -hmm. Insta instead, stay put and turn on your hazard lights to inform other motorists passing by. It is important for your vehicle to stay how and where it is mm -hmm. so that police and professionals may see and indicate how the accident occurred. Don't, don't get upset with the other driver. Both of you have been in a stressful and traumatizing situation. Mm. So viewers remember to stay calm and rational. You are still busy recovering from the shock of the accident. Yes, ladies, when experiencing this traumatic event, it is important to get details and information to present to authorities. So Ash, can you share the most important details and information required in this situation? Yes, <clears throat> you will need to collect and exchange both individuals' names, mm -hmm. driver's license, this license disc number, mm -hmm. phone number, and insurance information. Following the swapping of vital info and details, are there any other points our viewers should know about, Ash? Yes. For one, don't stay in your vehicle if you're still uncertain about the seriousness or the damage to it. I would rather advise our viewers to stand on the side of the road rather than being in an unsafe vehicle. Mm. Try to see if there are any possible witnesses, allowing them to share their points of view with the police. Mm. This may give more depth to the report. If the police are not there yet, get the contact information from witnesses so that they can provide this information later. Mm. Use your cell phone to take pictures for more evidence, even if the police are already there. Take pictures of the scene and how both vehicles are situated and any damages to the vehicle, like a broken windscreen or headlights. While the accident is still fresh in your mind, try to have someone take a voice note of your recollection of anything moments before the accident occurred, like mm. the road condition and any distractions. Mm. Go to the nearest police station to submit a report about the accident and key informi information, 
like the other vehicle's colour, brand and driver information, what time and where it happened and indicate on paper how the accident happened. Let the witness and police report as well as the evidence present the facts. Absolutely, sure, Ash. This is really a serious topic, but I understand that you should never take your own and your loved one's uh, safety for granted. You should always follow the, role, uh, the ru uh, rules of the road, sorry. Drive responsibly and constantly pay attention to what is happening around you. Keep yourself and loved ones protected and safe whenever you are driving. And once again, thank you, Ash, for this helpful um, information. As mums, we have that mummy nature uh, to protect and take care of others. And I believe this topic will do just that. Thank you, Ash. Pleasure, Dee. And next up, let's welcome Ms. Ceci in the talk of the town brought to you by Sariti Solutions. Ms. Ceci is one of the most driven women I met in the recent years. I personally believe that she is a humble person and let's face it, humility in this industry is key is a key characteristic that can benefit you in your successes, especially in sales. So let's welcome Ms. Ceci Kutamela. My bestie and your bestie sit down by the fire. Your bestie says she want party, so can we make these flames go higher? Talking about hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. I go, I go, I need. So, Ms. Ceci, tell us about yourself and how and when did you, uh, uh, your journey in motoring begin? And, you know, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us and, um, you know, Renault has always been a very welcoming brand in terms of me driving their vehicles. And um, you actually signed on with me last year when you were in Centurion and you captured my heart. Um, there's so many women in this industry, but obviously the woman that sits next to me <laughs> are a woman that I really am so taken aback by and I'm so impressed with you. So, yeah, just tell us about um, where your journey began and, and what... Just let us, t tell us more about yourself. Well, Desh, thank you firstly for the invite to have me on your lovely show. Um, I started my journey in 2007 with uh, Peugeot. Mm -hmm. um, another French brand. Another French brand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> another French brand. And um, unfortunately, Peugeot uh, minimized its footprint in the country at the mm. time mm. Uh, because we were going through a difficult time. Yes. And um, then I joined Volkswagen, okay. one of your favorite brands. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I worked, um, so at Peugeot, I started as a sales cadet. Mm -hmm. So a sales cadet is you basically don't know anything. Yeah. They uh, get you in and they teach you all the aspects of the business from sales to the parts department, to workshop, even to wash bay. Okay. So you get to learn a lot about the business. Mm -hmm. um, after that, when I moved to Volkswagen, uh -huh. I became a sales executive. So now okay. I've graduated from being a sales cadet and okay. I became a sales executive. Um, was with Volkswagen for about three years. Okay. Then I was appointed a vehicle sales manager assistant. Okay. Which was a phenomenal thing at the time because there was not many women in the industry who Absolutely. had that opportunity. Mm. I was with uh, VW <clears throat> Constantia for five years. Then I moved to various VWs. Yes. I joined McDillings and I also joined um, Moy Street. Mm -hmm. um, after that, D, after eight years with VW brand, I decided, you know what, I want to join the bigger Germans. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and I joined BMW. <laughs> okay. I was at BMW for about six months and I was like, I miss my VW family. Mm. However, mm. at this time I had now become premium. Okay. So I had to join one of the premium stables of VW, which happens to be Audi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Joined Audi Bruma and I was there for about two and a half years. All right. Had a phenomenal time. Uh -huh. And um, while I was there, I had hit my 10 year mark in the industry. Wow. And I was like, you know what? I've been doing sales for 10 years. Yes. I want to get the managerial position. Okay. I want to work very hard to get that. Mm. And then an opportunity arose with Renault. However, D, it mm. was a Renault, guess where? 
in another province. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. I moved to Reno Rustenburg. That's mm -hmm. where um, I was given an opportunity by a gentleman by the name of Des Fensale, okay. uh, the DP at the time. Okay. And um, I was there for about three months. Okay. But I missed home, D. All right. Another province. Okay. Missed my son and the traveling in between provinces. Right. Um, then I had an opportunity at Reno Centurion. Okay, that's where I met you. That's where we met. Okay. <laughs> at Reno Centurion, I was there uh, also sales manager for um, about two years. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed my time, learned so much about the brand, uh, did amazing um, numbers. And then obviously, you know, when you do well in the industry, yes. you get poached. Ah. <laughs> okay. And then I joined <clears throat> Barlow World, Ford and Mazda. Okay. But you know what? Renault kept on knocking at the door. Okay. And said, come back home. Mm -hmm. And now I'm at Renault Bryanston, All right. a sales manager there. I also look after the virtual space, which okay. is something new for Reno. Okay. It's um, a project that's growing month wow. on month. Okay. And I'm excited. Wow. And that's my journey. Oh, wow. In a nutshell. Yes, yes, that is amazing. And um, I just love hearing the progress um, and just listening to these stories of success. Um, it really is. Uh, something for young women to aspire to. So I'm very proud of how far you've come. Thank well you. done. I um, mean, all of the experience with different brands, I see you've stuck to the Europeans. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> um, that's something that um, I'm very, I'm really very, very proud of that. So CSE, that was a long um, history in <laughs> motoring. I mean, you said that you've been in motoring for the past um, almost 17 years, 13, 13 years, years. <laughs> 13 years, and um, that's amazing. You've, you've, you've had exposure to so many different brands. Um, what have been your challenges um, in, in all these phases of um, your journey? Well, definitely having to work twice as hard than um, everybody else. Yes. Not just as a woman, but as a black woman, mm. because you have to be seen. Yep. Uh, and you have to be seen uh, competent yes. of what you're doing. Yes. So I'd have to, you know, if the target was 10, I'd have to sell 12 or 15. Yes. Yes. Whatever target was given, I would have to just make it better. Yep. 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 Okay. So I understand those challenges. I also face challenges like those as a journalist yeah. and being the first of many um, in the industry. But um, you are now currently a sales manager and you should be very proud of that. But Ms. Yesi, what do you actually want to accomplish after this? Well, D, after this, I want to become a dealer principal. Yay! That is <laughs> definitely without a doubt. Okay. And from being a dealer principal, I'd like to be come like my mentor, Masha yes. Mayaba, and I want to become... Uh, Do you know I had Masha Mayaba on the show? Hey? I saw on your yes. first episode. Yes, oh wow. <laughs> so I'd love to become a franchise director one day, mm. um, and who knows, a CEO. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And that's going to happen. I know Definitely. your drive. I know your determination. Actually, I know something about you that is so crucial for this for these steps um, in order to get there. And that's your discipline, your devotion. So yes, um, I don't want people to poach you via me, but she's put it out there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Masesi, I don't know if you, I know you've been mentored by Masha Mayaba. She is a leader in the industry. Oh, yes. She's also mentored me to some extent. Um, I just want to find out, she speaks a lot about transformation in the industry. What type of transformation um, or, or what type of changes do you want to see for women in motoring South Africa? Well, definitely in a nutshell, D, I would like to see the transformation happen through women mm. taking up space in this male dominated industry. Yes. We need to come and take up the space and change mm. the footprint mm. of this industry and it becomes more diverse right. that it looks like our country. Absolutely. You know? um, so I want women to come together yes. and make it work. 
Absolutely. And I'd like you to, you to be one of those women that will lead this next generation into that diversity that you talk about. Um, I, I look forward to it. I really do. Um, Ms. Yesi, we've talked about um, your work. <laughs> we've talked about uh, what you aspire to be. We've talked about the brands. But what I love best about this segment is talking about you. About so me. <laughs> I want to know what your hobbies are. Well, as a mom uh, of a 16-year-old son, 16, 16 uh, <laughs> definitely just watching him play basketball whenever we have an opportunity. He's an avid basketball player, uh, soccer player as well. So I'm his number one supporter. Mm. So if I'm not on court side or in the soccer field, I'm definitely with my friends and family. Mm -hmm. I also love traveling. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been a bit hard so with all this COVID. Yes. But I love my traveling and just spending time with the people closest to me. Absolutely. So tell me something. You um, um, love to drive um, the Renault brand. You've made it very clear to us where your home is. Okay. So let's play or let's um, engage in the next segment or the next part of this segment. And that's the game I love to play, which is how well do you know your brand? <laughs> oh, wow. Do you? Oh, my gosh. Okay. okay I, I better get 100% for you this. You <laughs> just be the ambassador for Renault. So they're watching. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you, what is the average fuel consumption on the Renault Duster diesel? That will be, <laughs> <laughs> my salespeople, that will definitely be 4.5. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well done. Well done. Okay. I'm going to ask you another question, um, which I don't expect you to know. Okay. <laughs> but be easy, D. <laughs> <laughs> what is my favorite Renault? That has to be the Megan RS. Nope. No. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. It was. All right. What's your What's the vehicle now? Okay, so Renault? you pulled up here in the RS. Okay, so in the sorry in the Clio F1. Yes, I did. And after looking at that vehicle, I just I think I've just changed my you mind. You just changed your mind. Yeah, I just changed my mind. Well, I absolutely. It is so beautiful. I really really like it. And it's a limited. Edition. It is, oh my God. Yeah. What do you love most about it? I love the styling. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that it comes in uh, one color, uh -huh. which is black uh -huh. with a touch of yellow. Mm -hmm. And it is just sporty and nippy and easy to drive. What other Renault vehicles do you like, Ms. Yesi? What, what? I'm loving the Triber, which mm -hmm. is newly introduced. That vehicle has got seven seats. Mm hmm you can convert it back to a five seat for you to have bigger boot space. Okay. But the vehicle is just so big, spacious. Okay. Looks cute. Right. Family. Yes. And also, you know, it, it can also be, you know, for traveling. Mm -hmm. for so the seven seaters, uh, the, 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 the rear. Yes. Um, how, I mean, is it, is, it, is it spacious enough for seven people, especially at the back? It's spacious enough for seven adults at the back. You're kidding me. I mean, me. Uh, you can have, it, it's not about just kids. You know, it's a seven-seater for seven adults. Because I haven't tested the driver, so. Well, I definitely have to make a plan for yes, you. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Now, that sounds really amazing. We will make a plan. Yes, we'll absolutely. organize that for you to have. Yes, so Reno, you can see that Masesi wants to sell this brand. Okay, because this was never part of the, <laughs> the, the plans for this discussion. So, yes, you have a true ambassador <laughs> in Masesi. I'm so sorry about the voice. I've literally just gotten over the flu. Nothing else but the flu. So, <laughs> and next, I just want to ask you um, the last question. Yes, Dick. Okay. What is the Clio Dynamic Tire Size? Oh, my word. <laughs> 16 inch, dude? No. Yes. <laughs> 16 inch. Yes, I like the Clio as well. Hey, it's a very, very nice vehicle. Very it popular. Very, very popular. Very, very popular. It's a brand on its own, dear. Mm. It is just a phenomenal brand. 
and we look forward to more and more sales of it. Absolutely. And so that was Masesi. And um, I thank you so much for joining us, Masesi, taking out the time to help me to empower. As I always like to say, if you're sitting in a place of power, use that power to empower. Yes. Many young women are going to be watching this. And I want them to know we have the likes of a Masesi in the industry that are ready to receive, guide, and just show you the ropes. So thank you so much, Ms. Yessi. Thank you, Dee, for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. And, and that brings us to the end of another episode of Talk the Talk. Viewers, once again, thank you for supporting, watching, and following our show. Please remember to follow us on social media. And remember, ladies, the question should never be who's going to let me. The question should always be who's, who's going to stop me. Start my truck, let's all jump in Here we go together Nice cool breeze and big palm trees I tell you life don't get no better Talking about hair now